Hello guys, welcome back. Let's today look at how to price Azure Active Directory. Uh, from your pricing calculator page, you can go under Identity. And pick Azure AD. And you can pick the region that you want to use the services in. And uh, under the tier, you have uh, four options. You can pick free, basic, premium one, and premium two. Now, if you want to learn what are the differences between all these four services, you can go to Azure Active Directory pricing page, and that gives you in detail uh, what are the differences between all these four services. So I'm just scrolling gently so that you can have a look at uh, what are the differences most of the time basic version should be okay but if you want to do something like a mobile device management or e even also uh, uh, want to utilize the security services of uh, Azure Active Directory uh, because it also gives you the reporting capability along with the multi-factor authentication options you can use the premium version but in most of the time free and basic should do the job for you but uh, let me show you the pricing so I'm just going to pick basic to give you an example and it goes by the number of users so per user is $1.22 depending upon how many users you have in your uh, organization you can uh, increase the number here and if you also want to utilize multi-factor authentication that is not part of the basic or free option you can also add the services separately and this is priced um, two ways you can either utilize per user or you can go by per authentication so for 10 authentication we are talking about dollar uh, 70 if you want to go by user it is uh, 10 user it's 17 dollar uh, two cents uh, so that's in case you want to utilize uh, mfa with free or basic option because it's not part of that one but if I pick premium version, so I'm going to just pick P1. Multi-factor authentication or MFA is part of the premium version. So you don't need to uh, use the services because premium version comes with that. In case you're using Office 365 and you're using EMS, which is Enterprise Mobility and Security Suite, whether it's E3 or E5, it comes with the premium version. Uh, I think the E3 comes with P1 and the E5 comes with uh, the P2 uh, P2 version. Uh, there are some differences which again you can go through the uh, difference page. And uh, But the important thing here is that the premium version comes with uh, the MFA. You don't need to uh, uh, add this component. And uh, for premium version, one user is $7.30. If I move this to... P2, it is per user $10.94. And again, depending upon how many users you have, you can increase the number over here. So at least this gives you an idea about how to price Azure Active Directory. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.